To visualize the hierarchical group structure integrated with a graph, our technique uses a matrix representation with attached icicle plots. The matrix has an improved encoding of the hierarchical group structure, which is based on indentation, nested contours, and a mapping of edge density within and between subgroups. In addition, edges that were added or removed compared to the previous point in time are highlighted using green or purple respectively. The matrices of the dynamic graph are arranged horizontally where transitions between points in time are visualized using a flow metaphor. A dissimilarity metric that describes the difference of containment in two hierarchies is introduced. This metric is mapped to the color of the curves. The metric for a single vertex can be used to compute the dissimilarity between two hierarchies, which is visualized by bars. Finally, the total amount of added and removed edges between two successive graphs is visualized by two additional bars. If more than one sequence of hierarchical group structures is defined, the sequences are stacked vertically. Again, the connection of the matrices using curves helps to compare different hierarchies of the same graph. Our visualization approach also facilitates brushing and linking. By selecting a single vertex or group of vertices, their course is highlighted through all sequences using yellow ribbons. This diagram shows the core graphs of the JUnit framework that have been partially aggregated using our dissimilarity metric and a threshold of 0.08. We have the hierarchical clustering sequence and the package structure available and visualized here. Our visualization adjusts when zooming out such that the indentation is increased and the borders become thicker. And this way we can still perceive the hierarchical group structure. So let's start with the first partially aggregated graph and their hierarchical group structures. Both are relatively similar as almost all transitions have a relatively bright color. But there's one method of a relatively high dissimilarity. That's the test suits method I've just selected. The test suit method is part of the framework package of the JUnit package. The methods of some packages only call methods of other packages. For example, the extensions package, which only calls methods of the framework package. Within the hierarchical clustering sequence, the classes of these two packages are clustered to one sub hierarchy. Hence, it may be reasonable to combine them. The bars on the top of our diagram visualize the total amount of removed and added edges, purple for removed and green for added edges. As you can see, for most transitions, edges are mainly added, but rarely removed. The biggest dissimilarity between hierarchies occurs between these two graphs here. With revision 4, the org package was introduced into the software system and the only method that was already contained earlier is a sort of method that was moved into the org package with revision 4. The bars show that between these two graphs we have the highest dissimilarities in the graph topology and hierarchical group structure. Within the remaining three graphs, there are several packages that show up very well within the hierarchical cluster structure as well. For example, the JUnit package that integrates into a bigger cluster for all three remaining graphs. Also between these two hierarchies, there are dissimilarities. For example, the old test class runner method. Another package that's inserted new is the Hamcrest package. The Hamcrest package integrates really well in the hierarchical clustering and the same pattern can be perceived in the next graph. The blue curves over here show that several 
methods of the internal and runners package are moved into different sub packages. Let's look at the dissimilarities of the hierarchical group structures of the last graph. There's one method that sticks out as a very blue curve and this method is the suit method. Our mapping of the edge density within and between groups shows that there are packages whose methods are tightly coupled. For example, the internal package and the runner package, which are coupled over several revisions of the JUnit graph.